Hello, VC. Hello, good people. It's your blues guy. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again today. And uh, first off, I want to give a special shout out to my buddy Jamie Cottle. So it's been about a week since my last upload, and I hadn't really planned on um, going that long between videos. I was kind of thinking more about two videos a week. But as you could probably tell by the raspy voice and the nasally congested sound, Got a bit of the flu. So, with that, cheers, Neo Citrin. Mmm, Neo Citrin. But, I guess that's what happens up here in uh, Canada when you yeah. go walking around outside, going from vintage store to record shop to back and forth. You know, you're going to catch cold. And that leads me to today's video. I've got some uh, thrift shop finds here. And all of these were either $3 or $4. And I know there's been a lot of buzz out there, uh, a lot of people saying that it's not even worth looking in the, the secondhand stores or thrift shops anymore. But, I don't know, maybe it depends on your, your market or the city that you live in or how big of a city or something like that. But, but I've had a lot of luck, not only in the past few years, but even just in these past couple of weeks at a thrift store just, I don't know, five or six blocks away from me. Excuse me. Oh, nothing like Neo Citrin, that lemony, medicated flavor, hot liquid. Mmm, goes down good. Anyway, uh, this one, the first, uh, this was three bucks. Bob Seeger. I like Bob Seeger, man. Bob Seeger and the Silver Bullet Band, Stranger in Town on Capitol. Um, little bit of ring wear, but, you know, in pretty good shape. And uh, the album itself, the vinyl itself, is actually in excellent, excellent condition. Um, so that was just a great score. I, I like Bob Seger, pretty much anything that Bob Seger does. I kind of dig those dudes that have that raspy, gravelly voice and that kind of blue-eyed soul, rock and roll kind of feel. And Bob Seger fits the bill on that, for sure. Uh, this one was also three bucks. Uh, the Eagles, greatest hits, and uh, again, uh, almost almost mint condition on the cover. Just a bit of wear. I don't know if you could see that along the top there and along the spine. But again, the uh, the record itself it's in great shape. You know. Three bucks, and again the Eagles. You know, it's one of those bands that's kind of right up, right up my alley. I mean, I, I love the blues, obviously, but I also like uh, blues rock, uh, southern rock. You know, stuff like Almond Brothers, Leonard Skinner, uh, and I dig a lot of that stuff that was coming out of California in the late '60s and early '70s. You know, uh, the Eagles and. Uh, um, you know, Neil Young is Canadian, but uh, he was hitting it big with Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young during that whole time. So, uh, another Eagles. This was also three bucks on the border. Uh, this one, I don't know if it's because the cover originally was white, but it's really showing a lot of sort of. It's not even really ring wear. It's ring, ring dirt, or something. Is that a thing? I don't know. But again, the vinyl itself is immaculate. So, you know, if I can find an album for three or four bucks that the cover's mint and the vinyl's mint, that's great. But at the end of the day, as long as the record plays well and there's no scratches, not any excessive popping or static. And that one there, I've, once I dusted it off, it played beautifully. Uh, another $3 one from that same thrift store. Uh, this is Rod Stewart, Foot Footloose and Fancy Free. The cover is actually in quite good shape on this one. Uh, just a little bit of wear on the back here. But again, it's a... Uh... It's really hard to get a good angle on that, but again, the record is very minty. And uh, it actually came with the booklet, with all the liner notes and all the pictures and everything. That's, that's a score in itself. Because there's nothing more frustrating than frustrating than 
buying an album and um, you know that there's supposed to be a booklet or a poster or something, a pack of gum, whatever in there, right? And you open it up and it's not there. Uh, I mean, you're not listening to that again. That's not what's going on your turntable or on your hi-fi. But still, you know, it's kind of, kind of frustrating because it kind of makes you feel like um, it's a puzzle and there's three pieces missing out of a hundred piece puzzle. So the puzzle's never finished. Now, this one was four dollars. I already have a copy of this, but I couldn't pass it up because Rod Stewart, every picture tells a story. This is actually my favorite Rod Stewart album. And uh, this one is on Mercury. And this one, the, the label on this one is different than on mine. Mine's an original pressing. My, my, my copy that I already had is an original pressing on Mercury, but the label was different. Uh, I think mine's a Canadian pressing, and this one I think is the American pressing. But again, uh, it's got that beautiful gatefold, and for four dollars, I don't I don't understand why that was sitting there. I don't understand why any of these so far have been were sitting there. It's ridiculous. Another four dollar album, again from this is all from the same thrift store, so I guess it was worth getting. Cheers. Getting the flu. Mm, yes, it Oh, that's horrific. Uh, this one, $4 as well. Procol Harum. Now, it's a little rough. See here? Yeah, kind of yucky. And somebody spilled some ink or tried to color in all of these. I don't know, maybe they dropped some acid and decided that they were going to color in all these little, I don't know. So the, uh, the cover itself, it's even starting to pull apart there, which is always a shame. But I'd rather that it's like that and they didn't put scotch tape on it. Putting scotch tape on that bothers me for some reason. I'd rather it just be split open and leave it at that. But again, the vinyl itself, the record itself, is in excellent condition. And that's on that Darum label, which is, uh, that's the Canadian issue as well on that. That's from up here in Canada, eh? But four bucks for Procol Harum. You know what? It's got. It's got uh, what you want. It's got a wider shade of pale. It's got uh, kaleidoscope. It's got conquistador, conquistador. Uh, what do we have? How many do we have left here? Second to last one. Again, I already had this. Who doesn't really? If you're even half a fan, you gotta have Led Zeppelin too. But for four dollars, I couldn't pass it up. And this is actually different than the one that I have. Um, it's the same label. It's the, it's the original pressing, first pressing. But the uh, the album that I have is just the regular album, whereas this one is the gatefold. So I was really happy with that actually, because I, it's kind of one up from the one that I already had in my collection. And the Led Zeppelin II that I have in my collection is actually one of the original records that I still have from when I was a kid. I think I bought that in, I don't know, 82 or 83. I was 12 or 13 years old or something like that. Lastly, oh, man. It doesn't even really taste like lemon is the thing. It's supposed to. It's a bit, you know, citron, right? And they have pictures of lemons on the box. But it doesn't taste like lemon at all. Again, I don't know why anybody would walk past this and not pick it up uh, for $4. Carol King. Tapestry. Carol King. Again, original pressing of this thing. For four bucks. That beautiful textured cover, front and back, and then on the inside gatefold as well. It's got a beautiful texture to it. So, and Carol King is just one of those, um, I don't know, I, I was going to say unsung heroes of you know songwriting, but that's not really true. Any of us that are fans of music at all understand that she's, she's fantastic, but... Uh, I don't know. You don't hear a lot of enough people talking about uh, Carol King, I don't think.
but uh, I was I thought that this was a real great score. That's that's it for that thrift store. But again, I think that just should hopefully give a lot of us some renewed hope. You know, a little bit that it's worth the effort to once in a while go out. You don't have to go out once a week to a thrift store that you know has hardly got anything. But you know, if you go, you know, twice a month or something like that, if it's close by, you never know. You know, I mean, this whole stack of records, this whole stack of records, cost me under thirty bucks Canadian. So that's what twelve dollars U.S. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for today. And thank you very much for tuning in and for all of you who have been commenting and subscribing. I really appreciate that support. It's amazing. It's fantastic. Anybody that says the vinyl community doesn't support one another, they're crazy. All right. So uh, take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again soon.